right, we're here with Keithan Jones, creator of the Power Knights. How are you doing, Keithan? How's it going? All right, why don't you let us uh, know a little bit about the Power Knights? Okay, uh, the Power Knights is something that I wrote and created, and it comes out under Kid Comics, which I own. And the reason I said that is because before I started the book, I was like, I want to do my own thing, and it's something I've always wanted to do, but I don't want to wait for permission to do it. So I created my own publishing brand called Kid. All right. And the first book is called The Power Knights, and it's personal to me because I had it in, with me since I was 11 years old. It's a long time. <laughs> it's a long time. That's a long time, and it's something I felt, I found myself doodling on my free time, okay. even during work hours. Uh, and I was like, because I, I do graphic design, that's my day job. I'm, I'm an art director for a design firm. Okay. And, uh, but it was stuff that I wasn't really passionate about. I did, you know, I, I did my best. You hired me to do something, I do my best. But my passion was comic books. So I finally decided, um, maybe a year and a half ago, I want to make this my focal point. Okay. This is what I want to do. So like I said, I went ahead and created Kid, Kid Comics, and put out my first book called The Power Knights. Uh, okay. So really? you want to let us know a little bit about the characters and the story? Okay. Um, well, that's why basically the story is about redemption and second chances. Okay. So the Power Knights were, were, they were super powered beings who were collected to do the bidding of a king to help him conquer a un the universe. Okay. Everything they did was against their will because they were under a spell. They eventually broke the spell after all this destruction and mayhem. Okay. They eventually broke the spell and fought back the king. But they were not absolved of what they did, so they were sentenced to death for their crimes. Okay. They were sent into a black hole to die. So when it, but they didn't die. They came out on the other side of this black hole into our universe. Oh, and I'm, to I'm, sure, Earth. I'm sure Neil deGrasse Tyson would have, have an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he would. I'm sure he would. This is comics, Neil. So <clears throat> when he got to Earth, they thought it'd be best to live a reclu reclusive lifestyle and not to get involved with humans. Uh, except one, Warseed. Warseed was like, no, I think I'm going to make Earth my own. <laughs> Because I don't want to, he didn't, he doesn't, he's a little paranoid. Okay. He doesn't want to run the risk of losing control of his life again. So he figured, I'm going to be the king this time. And that forces the other power knights to come out of the shadows to stop him. And these two guys here, Kendall Watson and Davian Watson, two brothers, the younger brother and the older brother, get involved in this mess. Not by choice. By, you know, they just happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, and they get caught up in it. Okay. So. So. That, so, so now that you completed your, your Kickstarter campaign, what's next? What's the next step for you? The next step. Well, first of all, th I want to thank everyone that contributed to the Kickstarter. That was that was heartfelt and that was tremendous. Um, I, I, you guys, I don't know. I can't even express how grateful I am about that um, because it exceeded my expectations. Okay. It's something I hope will succeed but I wasn't 100 percent sure <laughs> that it was gonna happen but I was like hey I'll give it a try awesome. and it worked yeah. and what that's gonna allow me to, to do now is cover my printing charges going forward uh, for issue two okay. and it's gonna allow me to get issue three off the ground mm -hmm. and r more importantly it's going to allow me to go to more conventions and actually meet fans up close and personal and get the word out on the power nights okay. like I'm doing here at San Diego Comic Con. Right. So uh, uh, tell us a little bit about Kid Comics, your company. Kid Comics is going to be, I want it to be the shining light, the beacon for independent artists. Oh. Alright, I want I want us to be the, uh, I don't want to say anti-Marvel or anti-DC but the Not, al a good alternative. The al good alternative. Okay. A place where you can spread your wings, your creative wings, without worrying about uh, shareholders and, gosh, what's the general public going to think? You know, because all great ideals have to start somewhere, right? A place where you can have more creative freedom. Exactly, okay. exactly. And it's getting harder. I mean, and, it's, and I understand the corporate guys like Marvel. I understand their, their situation. They, they can't, they have a lot of responsibilities. 
and they can't take too many chances on messing that up okay. you know, the money flow right. so it is what it is okay. but they're not the only game in town right. and that's where that's where kid comes into the picture so do you have any other people that are in kid comics with you right now yes i have currently i have three other partners um cr ward he does vegas baby and a book called the stronger okay and if you go to kid-comics.com you can see these other books from my partners so there's there's cr ward he does the stronger in vegas baby there's william tanner who does the dragonfly and there's roosevelt pitt who does purge and some people may be familiar with purge because it was very popular in the 1990s during the whole image era and i believe it sold a million copies and um he's kind of he's kind of he's been on the down low for the last 10 15 years and he's ready to bring purge back to the public mm -hmm. but obviously people have grown older and there's a whole new generation out there okay. so he brought me aboard to help him translate to the new the, the millennials so did, did you already did you already know him beforehand or? i did not okay he just he saw what i was doing okay. online okay. through my facebook and through the kid website uh -huh. and he was inspired to contact me oh, that's awesome you yeah and we had some mutual friends so it just kind of naturally happened okay so all right so what what advice do you have for the other 11 year old aspiring artists out there um i was just talking to a young artist earlier today here at the con i told her whatever you do don't get caught up in the process of trying to be like another artist that's popular. Like, Jim Lee, wow. there's only one Jim Lee. That's pretty cool. Don't try to be Jim Lee B. <laughs> right. Be you. Be you. Yeah, yeah be you. And Good advice. once you do that, your, your audience will find you. You just have to put it out there so that they can see it. Awesome. They'll find you. That's really good advice. Yeah, yeah. You just have to be strong enough and have enough love in your heart for your craft. And, you know, some people believe in it. Some don't believe in, like, faith. Uh -huh. I do. Okay. I believe if you put it out in the world, if you put the thought out there and you work on it, it comes back to you. You know, you may not know what day. You, you may not know exactly when. But if, if you put in the work, and I truly believe you're guaranteed to get something out of it. Good advice. Yeah. So where can people find you online? Uh, Kid Comics, that's K I D dash comics dot com. Okay. Or Kid Comics on uh, Facebook slash Kid Comics Online. All right. We'll put the, the, the contact information on the notes below. Cool. cool. Well, thank you for your time, Kevin. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Right. And Good shout time. out to Hall H. 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 H